Hi everyone, James from Exus Kiting again. So, uh, latest video is going to focus on chain tension. So, now we have fitted our engine and we've got all of our axle components lined up, the next important thing is the chain giving drive to the axle. So, when we secure, if you can come over, when we have placed the engine in the spot that is appropriate, we have connected the clamps up, so now the engine can't move, we need to ensure that we've got the right level of tension in the chain to ensure that it's not too tight, not too floppy, and it's going to fall off. Um, if it's too tight, it can either snap or it can bend components out of place. So with a four-stroke engine like this Honda that we are working on in the GX series, you want about um, somewhere between a 20 pence and a 50 pence is worth of play up and down. So in this instance, I'm probably on the shorter side of the distance we'd want to travel, but that's acceptable. Um, I think in hindsight, looking at this one, because we put a 112 chain on, um, we would probably put either a 116 chain on, which would give us more slack and more ability to move the engine forwards, or we're actually on a 20 clutch and an 80 rear sprocket, which are probably the largest ones you will ever use uh, in the GX series. So if we had a smaller sprocket, obviously less teeth would give us more slack in the chain. Um, so pretty happy with where we are in that one. That one's fine to run. Um, but obviously it will be different for every sprocket that we put on, whether we put a 19 on the front or a smaller sprocket on the rear will affect that chain tension. So you'll be moving the engine forwards and back to try and secure it in the right level of tension, at which point you'll lock up the clamps and then just double check it because securing those clamps will change the level of tension because the engine will pitch slightly as you lock it down. Hopefully that's helpful and if you've got any questions, please put them in the chat.